WFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, folks? <laughs> this is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Of course, it was a somewhat eventful day with some of the uh, CPI that came out. Uh, I will also say if you've missed any of the last show we had, those interviews were with um, Basil Chapman and Tim Ord. Fantastic interviews, and those will be up on our YouTube page. You can also follow us on TikTok. Um, that's going to be uh, Tiger Financial Trades. Uh, recommend checking it out. Um, if you're into that kind of stuff, and then uh, just give us a subscribe on YouTube if you haven't yet, because we're going to continue to roll out some really good content and some interviews for you guys. Let's see where we finished out today. We have the ES Mini up 1.07%. We have the Russell doing, again, Russell things and just kind of down, uh, you know, sideways down 0.14% to the downside. Uh, NQ up about 1.42. The Dow Futures up 0.64%. Gold contract, you know, we're up a little bit. We're at 2,162, of course, getting a little bit of a pullback. Again, Tim Ord went over uh, some of his, I don't, you know, analysis, I suppose, right? That's the best word for it, of the, of the gold going forward. Check out that archive. Uh, copper up about 3.93%. I would love to see that get over that $4 mark, go to the 404 area. And then silver at 24.35. Now, crude oil. Let's take a look at it. The prices stall after funds complete a short covering on oil. Uh, benchmark oil prices appear to have topped out for time being after invest investors finished purchasing previous bearish shorts positions on U.S. crude futures and options. Repurchases have fueled the rally for almost three months as outlook as the outlook for consumption improved in Saudi Arabia and its OPEC allies restricted production. Uh, that's interesting to note of why this was moving so significantly. Anyways, let's take a look here. Uh, Tesla trading 177.49. Steel Dynamics up 131.34. The dollar, we are at 102.93, creeping right back up to that 103 level. But we are hoping it's going to continue to go down uh, and then we can kind of take off. Um, just some kind of random news going on here. This is kind of what I wanted to look at a little bit. Um, this is Xiaomi, okay? So Xiaomi is launching its electric car. This is the Chinese, and they're doing this, and they're gonna be able to put this out very quickly. Uh, take a look at this, I'll put it in the den. Uh, March 28th, this is coming out. This is gonna show if China can actually compete on a, uh, on a big level. Now, it's gonna be in China, but they'll move it out, and we'll have to stay tuned for that. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. We have Tom O'Brien, excuse me, Tommy O'Brien on at 9 a.m., Basil Chapman at 10, Steve at 11, Larry at 1, and then Tom O'Brien on at 3 p.m. Thank you so much, folks. Have a great rest of your day.